It's time for the Scurry 3 Show! Welcome to a new week on the Scary 3 Show. We are sitting here with Nikki Nashville and Social D and Intern Tina's in the house. I don't know where Intern Tina went. She just kind of came in the studio. She's just, doing her intern stuff. She's doing an internship. Yeah. yeah, she went to get donuts. She's running late. She's running late. Typical intern. Um, but welcome to a new week. <laughs> we uh, had a great weekend. We had a Last week was a great run of shows. Got to meet a lot of new faces in the the feed so that was good but this week is big because we have a first time guest on the scary three show we want to welcome in scott mcnitch from folklore haunted house in eckworth georgia how you doing scott hey doing great doing great awesome awesome uh, how was uh i know it's almost february but how was how was your christmas break and new year and all that good stuff oh it's been great uh weather's been kind of up and down in georgia yeah, the weather's not uh, been great anywhere, I think, in the South. <laughs> I think it's been horrible. So in case, you know, a lot of our friends are mutual friends. So before we get into folklore, it, they got you got the grace us with your attempt at McCamey Manor. So that was interesting. How did that all work out? Yeah, yeah it was a fun experience. I saw uh, that y'all were watching me and everything. I appreciate all the support. Okay. Yeah, we we noticed that you're the uh, the wall drill champion. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I got I got big tiles and I know how to sit down. I guess. Oh man, <laughs> that's, I had to do that stuff back in high school when I played football. I couldn't. I man, I couldn't last for two minutes on that. Even even in my prime days, I couldn't do it. We caught those LSU's. LSU's. That's right. <laughs> so on yeah, the- I was a wrestler back in the day. So oh man, that's wild right there. You got it covered. Yeah. Low yeah. center gravity. Low, low center gravity, pro hunter. I mean, this dude's got he, That's how you do it right there. <laughs> you need to teach us. Pro teach hunter. us, master. We're too old. Man. You're the yeah. last dragon, Scott. You're the last dragon. Yeah, yeah. Hey, did you see I got a new tattoo? I did. You, uh, you did get a tat. I mean, that thing was nice and massive. <laughs> I mean, he got a McCamey Manor, the, the logo from McCamey Manor on his uh, upper arm. Oh, wow. I mean, it covers the whole upper side. That's sharp. It looks just like the actual oh, logo. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. 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 I mean, that was sharp. I bet Russ loved that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. I was second one for uh, McCamey Manor to get a tattoo. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. That's I figured good. more people would have done it. You would, you would, you would think. think. You would think. You would think. <laughs> All right. So let's get on with Folklore Haunted House. So. Now, we've been visiting you uh, for, uh, I think, about two, three years now. And from everybody that's re- came in and visited you, what they have told me is you are one of the most unique haunted houses in the Southeast, that y'all separate yourself when it comes to creativity and being original. Um, and I've heard that from a lot of people as well, that you do your own thing, you come up with your own customized just makeup, costumes, and just scenery and everything else. Man, yeah, this is true. We've been in business uh, about nine years. Um, we have three different attractions. We have the Manor, we have Tremulous, and we have our 3D downstairs. So it, it is totally unique. All the characters are unique. And I, I've seen y'all come out a couple times. Um, in fact, I think we have a new rep. Yes, we do. In our area. We do. Uh, Rebecca, she just joined us um, about a week ago. She's our new Georgia rep, and so she's full. You know, she's just ecstatic, ready to get to work on anything. Um, she's contacting haunts left and right in Georgia, just you know, introducing herself. And so that's that's awesome. That's kind of what we want 
everybody in Scary Face to do is, you know, to be like, you know, introduce themselves, not be afraid to contact haunts, just introduce her, you know, introduce themselves. And I love her passion for what she's showing so far. So I'm glad she did contact you. Yep, she has contacted us, and uh, hopefully we'll see her soon. Yes, uh, we're going to try and actually get her out to y'all for this February event so she can check you out and do uh, just do a, a write-up of her experience and what y'all have going and uh, hopefully get that out. And if you open for next February, we can still push that come the next February and say, hey, look what they did last February and look how awesome it was. You need to check them out this time. You know, So that's what we're kind of going to hope to do. And then we can even use it, push it out in October as well to say, look what they did in February. Imagine what they can do in October. Right, which is kind of interesting with um, Bloody Valentine and Christmas Nightmares. You know, if you look back in the history books, we're uh, one of the originals to, to do the Christmas Nightmares and the Bloody Valentine. This is our ninth season doing it. Oh, my gosh. So y'all are definitely pros at it. So you weren't kidding when you said pro haunter. That's, that's for sure, especially with that <laughs> running. Yeah, I guess I'm going to catch slack on the pro honor thing for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh yeah, it's stuck with you now, man. It's it's stuck. Yeah. But so what um so what what is there some like in folklore for Valentine's? What do you have lined up for for all, for everybody to see this year? Well, Bloody Valentine's is going to be really cool this year. Um the maze is always different on our off events. Um like I said, we have three different attractions, but upstairs we have two. And we change the maze around for the off of that. So you're going to get more than just one attraction, which is really cool. And also, this um, on Friday, on the 16th, you can earn a free ticket. From 1 to 6, we're going to have a blood drive. Oh, that's cool. Yep. So if you want to come donate blood, you can get a free ticket to get in. All right, so, and that ticket's good for Friday or Saturday. Oh, so we need to tell Rebecca, that's kind of her initiation for being a new reviewer for Scary Faces. You have to go get poked with the needle, give up your blood. <laughs> you have to give your blood. Give your blood <laughs> before you can officially review for Scary Face Folklore. That's that's going to be what we're going to do. That's going to be her initiation for Scary Face. Yep. We, we did the blood drive uh, back in the regular season. It was a smash. Where We had so many people backed up trying to give uh, blood that they ended up having to go back to at a later time to give blood. You know, the blood truck couldn't even handle how many people that we had. That's always a good thing, too. That's awesome that y'all do that. Yeah. That's a great sentence you just said. The blood truck can't handle all the people we have. <laughs> Such a great sentence. That should be on a T-shirt. That should be T-shirt that. Yep, exactly, exactly. need T-shirt that. Um, also, uh, just the one that's out there, off, off haunted topic, but you are, um, uh, you said... Uh, on your profile said you were in the army is that correct yes yes i, I was a uh, love mike infantry well I, and like i said we always like to get you know get that information out and you know, on behalf of everybody at scareface and you know we want to say thank you for your service we really appreciate everything that you and your and the men and women do oh uh, you're you're very welcome most of my core actors is prior service that that's awesome to hear that's all. And, and if you could, please send our thank you to them as well from Scary Face. We'd really appreciate that because we are definitely grateful for everybody in the armed forces. So, Scott, we really appreciate you being here tonight. So I'm going to let you end it here. Uh, tell tell everybody where they can find out information on folk, folklore and, uh, and where they can find anything out that you want them to know. All right. Sounds great. Thanks for having me on the show. We're 5389 North Main Street, Ackworth, Georgia. You can get us on Facebook or uh, FolkloreHauntedHouse.com. Uh, we'll be open on the 15th and the 16th of February. Tickets are $15. <clears throat> like I say, you give blood, you get a free ticket. Uh, can't beat that. Uh, we are the scariest haunted house in Georgia. Can't beat that at all. So we're looking forward to uh, sending Rebecca to get stuck with a needle. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> Uh, she has to live stream it. And she, yeah, we're, we're going to make her go live and live stream it too as well. So, But, uh, Scott, thank you again so much for joining the Scary 3 show. And we uh, – oh, Social D's got something real quick. Can we have a character assist Ooh. in the drawing of blood? Ooh. There's got to be one character that you let out a little bit. Oh. Uh, I have a few that might get out. She doesn't like clowns, does she? 
Uh, you know what? I, I, she, I don't think she does. I don't, I don't think she does Perfect. like clowns. Have every so, clown yeah. in there. I, yeah, I, actually, I think for what her interview on the phone was she said that she is a little freaked out by clowns. So I think that's going to be perfect. Uh-oh. That's yes. going to be perfect. Uh-oh. That sounds great. Oh, man. So we're going to look forward to that. We're going to set that up. We'll talk between now and then, and we'll, we'll set Rebecca up. That's going to be beautiful. So. Sounds great. But, Scott, thank you for joining the show, and uh, you have a great night, man, and we'll talk to you very soon. All right, see you soon. All right, thank you. All right, so that was Scott from Folklore Haunted House in Ackworth, Georgia. That, uh, the best, the scariest haunted house in Georgia. That's a tall order. That's that's a tall claim. Well, I'm not how, saying they're not, but it's far, tall. How far are we? They finished in the top 15. How far are we from them? About the same as Paranoia. So, yeah, it's about the same as Paranoia Drive. About a little yeah. less than three. That's a Sounds like, sounds like a gauntlet got thrown. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it did. Dave's got a, Dave's got a powerhouse. He's got a powerhouse. <laughs> and then we have another, we have obviously folklore. We, um, we may we have, have we may have to expand into a best of Georgia. We could. We could. Why not? I think we should. I mean, they can't finish anything. <laughs> I obviously. think we should. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So maybe the haunts can cover the slack that the football teams can't. Exactly. So you know. So we're gonna catch you on the next side. We're gonna be joined with. David Russell from Warehouse 31, and we're going to see you in a second.